Governor Eric Holcomb announcing the state will enter stage 4.5 today. He says this is from the uptick in cases in the state and across the country. Fox 55's Chris Maluli joins us live in Fort Wayne. So, Chris, how will this change in stages impact us? Yeah, Hunter, some things will still remain the same, like bars and restaurants will have limited capacity and some other things, including the number of capacity or occupants outside will have to be restricted. But with 4.5, that does mean festivals can stay open. And with the 4th of July coming soon, cities and towns across Indiana will have to decide whether they want to keep the festivities going or shut them down early. We are prepared over the next two weeks leading up to July 18th to go to stage 4.5. It's not how Hoosiers and Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb envisioned it. The state was supposed to reopen by Independence Day, but now most businesses and guidelines will remain the same with some exceptions. Um, but we will give the green light or the green flag um, to mostly outdoor activities. Activities ahead of many 4th of July celebrations across Indiana. Cities and towns now deciding whether or not to hold theirs. Fort Wayne officials say now isn't the best time. We're hopeful that we'll be able to have a fireworks display for the public to enjoy uh, sometime later this year. John Perlick with the mayor's office says COVID isn't the only reason. The city was made aware of possible demonstrations this weekend. He says the combination of both would make it hard to keep everyone safe. Monitor where everyone is and and have social distancing and, and hopefully people with masks on, it would be almost impossible for us to effectively make sure people were doing both of those things. But the city of New Haven is going forward with its celebration. We'll have sanitizing stations out. Um, so I, I think as long as everyone um, follows protocol, I think we should be fine. City officials say they're excited to bring people into the city and put their minds off the pandemic, all while keeping everyone safe. We're strongly encouraging people to self-distance. And as I said, I think streaming it on Facebook would encourage people who can't attend or, or are concerned about attending to be able to still enjoy the event. Now, Perlick says that he wants and hopes that the fireworks will be rescheduled. I asked if there's any timeline in terms of when they will be able to bring that forward and bring that festivities here to Fort Wayne. He says city officials aren't sure right now, but he hopes that it is sooner rather than later. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Chris Maluli, Fox 55 News.